All right, guys, welcome back to another declutter. Today, I am just kind of doing the draws that I have over here. They're sets of five draws, and I just feel like um, this, this declutter series has been so fun for me, and I want to continue to do this with you guys and just show you what I'm getting rid of as I'm trying to downsize my makeup collection. So let's head into it. And this is like my concealer draw and I have just a bunch of random stuff in here. It's not really honestly the most organized. I also have eyeliners in here. I wish I was more organized, but we'll get there one day. So let's see what we can start with. A mini version of Hoola. Gonna keep that. What else? This is a Kevin Aquan bronzer. I really like Kevin Aquan products, but this bronzer is just like too shimmery for me. So I'm actually going to... I think I might declutter this. I got this at Marshalls. I just never use this. That's a tough one because that brand's expensive. Bare Minerals Invisible Bronzer. This is very pretty. It's really light, but it's good for kind of like a, uh, a lighter makeup day. I'll hang on to that one. Wet n Wild Baked Blush. Really a pretty color. It's very shimmery. Honestly, more like a highlighter. Hmm. I'm gonna declutter it. I'm not, I don't use this one. One of the few things I have from Fenty Beauty it is the bronzer in Shady Biz. I like that, so I'm gonna hold on to it. This is the Viseart bronzer. I got this in Boxy Charm Premium. I like it, so I'm gonna keep that. I haven't had it that long. This blush is really pretty. It's the L'Oreal. Paradise Enchanted Scented Blush. I got this at TJ Maxx. This is an illuminating eye primer from Amazing Cosmetics. Um, we'll hold on to that. This is a Dior highlighter that my friend gifted me and it was brand new. It's just, it's too dark for me personally, so I can only wear this as an eyeshadow. I think this is the only thing I own from Dior. It's the Dior Skin Nude Air in 004. I hate to get rid of that. Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter. These are pretty. This has like actually a pinkish kind of duochrome to it. I'm gonna hang on to that. I have to put all of my like eyeshadow primers together because I have quite a few and I'm forgetting that I have them. So all these need to, all those need to stay together. We have Urban Decay. This one's very thick, this Pero. Pero primer. This is a benefit. Uh, it's, not like, it's like a lipstick balm. I don't really use it too much, but I might actually put it on right now. The mess, there's so much like uh, dust in here. This is an eye primer from Revolution. Brightener, gonna keep that. This is, um, this is actually, it looks really gross, but it's a pretty cream blush. And the packaging is made from recycled seashells. Next we have eyeliners and um, I feel like I also have went through these but let's do it again. This is such a gorgeous applicator like I kept this for the packaging honestly it's so pretty it's by Stands Out Beauty. I just don't like that it's not a felt tip. Um, I mean I don't like that it's not a brush if it's a felt tip but I honestly just keep it here because it's aesthetically beautiful. We also have this AOL, AOA eyeliner pen. This is a brush tip, so we will keep her. Here's another brush tip one. This is the Touch and Soul Swift Black Eyeliner. I am a huge fan of black eyeliners. That's why I have so many, I use them all. Gonna declutter this. It's a star stamp thing. I got this for like a five below video. The Ico eyeliner, another good one, because it's a brush tip. Basically anything with a brush tip, I'm like, yes. Oh, you guys, this one is honestly, bad. It's the Benefit Their Real Eyeliner. They sent this to me in PR and it literally, like I took it with me on vacation and it was like um, so bad. Like I couldn't even get a black line out of it. That's honestly terrible for something that's $25. I do not recommend this. Get the Wet n Wild one or the NYX one. This is the House Laboratories Liquid Eyeliner. It is a nice pen and it's brown. So Sometimes I do brown liquid liner, so I will keep that. I don't feel bad about having a lot of eyeliners because it's one of my favorite makeup products. I use this, it's a uh, felt tip, but it's really good. It's better than the other one they came out with, the Benefit Roller Lash. 
This one has always been a favorite, the DHC liquid eyeliner. It's also a felt tip. This one I use for like tons of my uh, Dollar Tree tutorials. It's the LA Colors one. That's a felt tip. This one I don't love, but I use it sometimes. I just don't like this format because I feel like it's really messy. This is LA Colors tan ta bleh, can't talk tattoo pen. It's like a little star. Love this one. It's the Marilyn Monroe hard candy one that I got at Dollar Tree. It is also a brush tip. I use this in my inner corner. It's this like Rimmel pretty uh, white pink color. I like that a lot. This is another like stamp thing. I have a lot of these. This one's a heart. I mean, I'm going to hold on to it. Maybe I'll do like a fun look. I don't know. And this is the brown version of the LA Colors. This is also actually really good. We have one of these little, I have like a lot of these, these eyelash combs. This is the AOA Buttercream. This is very dried up, so I'm going to declutter it. Then we have the Sigma Wicked Gel Liner. I actually really like this. And this is the brown gel liner because sometimes I do use gel. I do really like the way a gel looks. Okay, let's move over to this random little assortment of stuff. Um, I have this Lumi Glotion from L'Oreal. I really like this. It is sort of like the Charlotte Tilbury. Not like the new e.l.f. one is such a dupe, but it's a good, basically, um, illuminator. And you can mix it with your foundation. I really like that. Um, I love this powder. I use it all the time. I just have some random <laughs> powders in here. I really don't have the best organization like I told you guys, but I really love this because it is talc free. Um, it does have a scent to it, so it's not unscented, but it's pleasant. This is a powder that I really like. It's like a nice blurring powder. I got this from TJ Maxx quite a bit ago. It's the e.l.f. Uh, knitting, knitting, blotting powder. Wow. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. This is pretty good. I love the way it smells. We have the Sweetie Pie Bronzer. I have to put, like, somehow figure out how to put all my bronzers together. Um, I don't love products like this because I don't like mixing blushes with bronzers with highlighters. It's just not, like, my favorite thing. And this is the Peach Blur. If you guys remember, this is from TJ Maxx. Um, there was like a time when they had this. It's this very light peach blurring powder. It's actually really pretty. I wonder if this, how this would be as like a subtle highlight. Um, so I will hold on to that. I do like the peach products. And this is Revolution Fix and Glow Ultra Glow Primer. I just feel like I have way too many of these like glowy primers. So I... I'm going to get rid of this one. I have, what is this? This is the Amethyst Luminizer. Uh, this is from Cora Organics, which was or is the line from, what's her face? Miranda Kerr. It's actually really pretty. Totally forgot about this. It has like a purple hue to it. I have to play with that a little more. I forgot I had that. This is a AOA Pow Lighter in Nebula pretty but again not organized this is the iconic illuminator in original another a gorgeous this is the huda beauty matte and metal shadows i'll hold on to that because i like her stuff this is the pacifica oh look how separated separated this is twinkle paint this was always that kind of consistency though it is really beautiful though like, I love that. I don't know if I'm going to use that. I like it, but... Ugh. Right, maybe I'll just hold on to it. It is pretty. I like the gold. This is a Avon Dazzle Drops. It's a liquid illuminator. This is actually really pretty. Lots of illuminators in here. This is the Cover FX Glitter Drops. These are super fun. Woo! Oh my goodness gracious, look at that. That is a good time right there. I guess this is my liquid illuminators. This is the Sleek Highlighting Elixir Illuminating Drops. Kind of similar to the Iconic London. This is the Cover FX Shimmer Veil Eyeshadow. Have to clean this out. This is the J-Cat Shine Your Day Shimmer Powder. 
The reason why I love declutters is because it reminds me like, oh my gosh, I have that. This is like a random brow gel. I have to find a home for that. And then this is the liquid shadow from L'Oreal. Color. Like a smoky lilac. It's pretty. I like these like shimmery uh, eye shades. So. Okay, now let, let's look at my concealers. Like I said, I already went through these, but I had this... Patrick Star one size one, which I'm honestly not obsessed with, but I, you know, just got it. This is the Jordana Take Cover Concealer. Um, I'm going to declutter this one. It's a discontinued brand, and I just don't reach for this. We have the Tarte Shape Tape. I will hold on to that. This is the Glamouflage from Essence. I do not like this, so I'm going to declutter it. Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay. Um... This is too light for me, but I will use it to cut the crease. Really like this one. It's the Flower Light Illusion. Um, I also really like these. The LA Colors Ultimate Cover. You can get these at five below. They're super affordable. Love this one. It's the Marc Jacobs Extra Shot. This is Amazing Cosmetics Concealer. Very thick. <laughs> This is Hey Honey. I'm going to declutter this. Zoeva Concealer. I got this from Marshalls. I haven't played with that too much. This is Boing Concealer from Benefit. Again, this is this is L. This is in the shade Nectarine. Um, have to also play with that one a little bit more. Okay, this is the next container. We have another Tarte Shape Tape. This is in a different color. This one is in the shade Light. Now, what's this one? Okay, Light's a little bit more pink. Light Sand. Um, I'm going to declutter this one. Camo Concealer. Again, not my favorite, but, you know. This one I use from time to time. The Revolution Conceal and Define. Re uh, Wet n Wild Incognito is a favorite love this concealer age rewind except in the brightening this is so pretty very underrated the brightening shade bye bye this is good um it's just very again like the amazing one very thick this is the aoa liquid concealer random uh nyx pencil love this one nars radiant creamy amazing cosmetics line smoother and primer just keep that in there this is the Dark Circle Concealer from Joa. That's fairly new to my collection. Anti-Wrinkle Blur from Strivection. Oh, you can actually use this under your eye. That's pretty cool. It's kind of like the other one I just showed you guys. This is the Prescriptives Camouflage Cream. This is actually really good. It's just people don't ever talk about that brand because it's like maybe discontinued. Dose of Colors Concealer. This is good for cutting the crease. It's too light for regular concealing. Visible Lift from L'Oreal. I think this is different than the other one. This is Revlon Color Stay. I'm gonna declutter this one as well. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover in Classic Ivory. Um, I don't ever really use this, so I'm gonna declutter it. All right guys, let's take a look inside this drawer that I have on top of my desk. Um, see if there's anything in here that I want to get rid of. So this is a Koki liquid lipstick. I'm just going to declutter this because I know I'm not going to use it. This was a, a lip product from the Loren Grey collection. This is actually really pretty from Revlon. Nude Sticks. I think it's Nude Sticks. Gel Lip and Cheek Balm. Again, not going to use this, so I'm going to declutter it. It's a liquid shadow. I do have a couple liquid shadows in here. Um, from L'Oreal. This is the like goldish one. I did a swatch right there. So I'm gonna hold on to that. I still really like that. This is a little mini of Sila Kitten Karma. And then I have a bunch of liquid shadows from Pixie. They're super fun. I did a couple swatches here so you guys could see. I, I just don't know when I'm ever gonna wear this black one but I heard that grungy looks are coming back, so maybe I'll hold on to it if I do that kind of video. And then this one's really pretty. Um, I really like these. This one is a little bit deep for me. It's like a copper. 
I'm gonna declutter this one because I'm probably not gonna use it. It's just too deep of a shade. This one's actually almost empty, but I wanna like scrape out the last bit because I love using this in the inner corner. It's a Lipstick Queen lip gloss. I got this at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Honestly, haven't worn it much at all. This is the All May Goddess Gloss. These are really beautiful. This one is in the shade Angelic. I like this gloss. It doesn't really last long. Honestly, the e.l.f. Plumping Gloss. Okay, moving on to this row. I have this Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Crush. These are like, I feel like just so drying. I have these two glosses. I'm going to declutter these. They were from the Amber Shoal collection she did with, I think it was like Shop Hush. I'm going to declutter these. This is the Too Faced. I think this is uh, like the collection they did with Candy Johnson. I still wear this. Um, it is really drying, but I like it as like a matte nude option. This is a really pretty Marc Jacobs lip gloss. This one I haven't had too long. It's an Anastasia lip gloss. This is a Bare Minerals Kissy Face. I actually really like that one. NYX Lingerie Gloss. This is pretty. This I've had for a while, the Huda Beauty. A Lime Crime Liquid Lipstick. Wow, that is a very dark shade, but could be interesting for fall. This is a really nice gloss from Marc Jacobs called Sugar Sugar. I think this was made popular by Jaclyn Hill. This is one of the um, Joie, Joie gla glosses. This is the NYX Glam lip. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this NYX gloss. Um, DLS, I'm gonna declutter that. I'm gonna get rid of this Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I'm gonna get rid of this Profusion. Um, and then we have a couple from MAC. This is the Dazzle Glass and Sugar Rims. I will keep that. This is the Anastasia Lip Gloss in Dainty. That's pretty, I will keep that. I'm gonna declutter this Bare Minerals Gloss in Fly. Mac and Aaliyah Lip Glass. Oh no, this is the Mac and Aaliyah Lip Gloss. This is in Very Go Lightly. This is a Peach Perfect Lipstick, I'm gonna keep that. Dose of Colors, uh, this is in Petals. Onto that, and this is the All Made Goddess Gloss in Halo, which is like kind of a funky, it's an interesting color. It's kind of like yellowish purple. Okay, and then down here is just another draw of some random stuff. This I never use, it's the NARS Orgasm lip gloss. This is Samantha from Buxom. This I know I'm not gonna use. This purple shade, I'm gonna declutter that. This is Ryan. Again, not really my shade, I'm gonna declutter that. We have this cute Buxom plump lip liner. I love those. These Revlon Ultra HD lip polishes. I feel like I have a lot of these. Definitely not gonna use like, I don't really wear bright shades like this um, in, like, a gloss because I feel like it's really messy. So I'm going to declutter that one. These are pretty. Okay, let's see what else we have in here. I have another one of these little lip liners. These are so nice. I like that these are small. I can definitely use those for when I'm traveling. And then I have a couple more of these lip polishes. I'm not going to use these colors. I have so many of the lip polishes from PR, so I'm going to declutter those. This is the shade Dolly. I think I have a full size of this somewhere. This kind of almost looks like a like a purple shade to me. Okay, then I have this Clove and Hollow. This is really old. I'm going to declutter that. Lip polishes. I'm going to declutter that. I'm just not feeling those. This is Pumpkin Spice Latte. I think this is from two years ago, the fall collection. I'm gonna declutter that. This is, this is pretty. This is the shade Celeste. It's like a very sparkly peach color. I'll hold on to that one. And then I have another one of these plump liners, which I forgot was in here. It's the shade Incognito. Do I have that one? 
undercover incognito guys but i hope you enjoyed today's declutter and it's just a bunch of random stuff in my drawer i still have to organize things a lot better um but i'm just kind of starting the whole process here of getting rid of some stuff and downsizing a bit so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video and i will see you guys in my next one bye